Good morning, beautiful people. So today, we already know what time it is. It's the Bella Infusion. So I'm going to be heading to the treatment center. We're going to sit down. We're going to do the Bella chit-chat, catch-up, fill you guys in because your girl recently had a birthday. So first and foremost, before we get started, I want to thank everybody for just reaching out to me, just pouring a lot of love on me on my birthday from the community chat in YouTube, from Instagram to the DMs. Like it's just been an influx of love and I appreciate it all because there was a time where I did not think I was going to make to see this birthday. And the fact that I'm here today and making this video, it is a blessing. My mission is not done. So I know that I'm supposed to be here making these videos, helping and educating you guys just as well along the process because a lot of the times which is something that i do want to talk about is that our hardship is setting us up for something bigger and we can't see it all the time in the midst of things and i really want to touch on this but i don't want to be late for my appointment so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put my shoes on i'm gonna drive to my center when i get to the center then we can pick back up on this particular conversation but if you guys are new, I do the Bella Infusion every 30 days. Um, this is one of my treatments. So I don't take Prograph, so I take the Bella Infusion instead. Um, so let's go ahead, get started. Let me grab my purse and my keys and let's head out. You guys, these are like my favorite little shoes ever. See these Crocs? They are so comfortable. Now, never did I ever think that I would be a Crocs type of girl, but I always have to have on some type of slipper. Like these are like my little house slippers. I got those at like Walmart. But these Crocs are everything. So if you're looking for some comfortable shoes, I most definitely would recommend this. And this is my big old water bottle. So this is what I got to drink. I'm trying to guzzle as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so I got my keys in my hand, my shoes on my feet. It's time for me to roll. People want to leave, men especially want to leave a legacy behind it is in our dna and so for you to do that you must have generativity you must want to lean into becoming the best version of yourself and constantly reinventing yourself and recreating yourself and developing new hobby skills traits abilities so that you are still interesting to people who are younger than you and who want to get motivated inspired and want to learn from you wow it took me a long time to get down here today i don't know i'm very tired that could be part of it but also just traffic and all of that and i didn't time myself correctly so hopefully they won't have an issue with that they never really do i'm always on time i'm actually always early um but today i'm running a tad bit behind i'm like maybe five six minutes behind but when you're doing your bella make sure you're on time for your appointment no nurse wants to sit down and wait for you i apologize if my nurses are watching this, um, it was my fault. I'm not even going to say it wasn't my fault. It was my fault today. Okay, not only am I running late, I forgot my sweater. And anybody knows me, I'm always cold. I forgot my sweater. It's nasty. You see outside, it's been raining nonstop, like, since yesterday. Um, but hopefully, and I ain't got no mask. Lord, help me. It's just been a mess of a day. <sighs> okay, guys, so I'm checked in. I'm all good. Um, took a while to get checked in. There was a long line today. Everybody seems to be tired. It is not me, even the lady who checked me in, even other patients. Everybody's like, what is going on today? It really doesn't feel like a normal day. Like it's been rainy, gloomy, just that kind of vibe. And you know, you, you get that once in a while, right? Um, but back to what we were talking about previously. You know, I feel like sometimes God will allow you to go through certain hardships in your life um, to prepare you for what's to come. Now, for me, I didn't know why I was going through certain hardships until I got on a one-on-one -on -one call. So I've been doing the virtual one-on-one -on -one calls with like kidney recipients, um, people that are going through dialysis, things of that nature. It's a new service that I started doing because I wanted to interact with people and make more of an impact. You guys already know my goal is to make an impact. Um, and to impact the community as much as possible. And my nurse is waiting for me. See how I started my conversation? Now I gotta end it. All right, guys, hold on. Okay, 
okay this is where i'm at 155 i'm just gaining and gaining i need to get to the gym <laughs> so this is my little spot today this is where i'm gonna be That machine is my favorite machine. It's like a little IV. You can see the vein so good. It's so easy to use. It's like the best investment for any doctor to have. I was telling them about how much I love this little machine right here. No. It's like the best little machine. You see all the veins. You don't have to get poked twice and three and four times. Well, hopefully not. Uh, hopefully not. So we did it. We poked it in the arm. It's easier here on the side. And that machine that she used showed my veins. So it was easy access. No issues. I love coming to this location. I had a new nurse today. She's not new to the center, but she's just new to me. I see her all the time. And she was really sweet. I really like really sweet nurses, people that go above and beyond. Like I said, I am just kind of going through it today. I'm cold. I'm just like not myself. It's gloomy outside and I think that plays a factor. So she bought me like two nice warm blankets, um, some good snacks and something to drink because today we decided to do blood work. So I don't do blood work every month anymore. I do blood work um, every three months. And so the last time I think I did blood work was in July. So we went ahead and just ran some labs today. Now, I'll be getting those results shortly. They come in through the portal, so I see them instantly. I don't have to wait for a doctor to call me or anything like that. And if they notice anything, they usually send me an email and letting me know, hey, stay hydrated, whatever it may be. She bought me two cups to drink because I gotta do a urine sample so and i'll leave that in the bathroom and i'll get that back later today too so it was it's really nice coming to this particular location even though they're not as big as the main campus it's great service right when you're going through an illness you want to have great service you want to feel you know like nobody treats you less than because you're sick no one everybody's just in a cheerful mood they're always smiling and I really love that about here. Bear with me because I don't have my tripod stick and I'm using my left hand to hold this up, okay? So I might switch around from time to time because my hand is preoccupied over here. Um, so let's see if I can switch a little bit because my hand's getting tired. So we were talking about um, sometimes God will put you in certain situations and you don't know why, right? So my most recent one-on-one -on -one call, we actually spoke about insurance and finding insurance and going through that whole process, right? It's a very daunting experience. It is, it is probably, I would have to say the hardest part of the post-transplant. And those who know, they know, okay? Now people think like, oh, you know, you got a transplant, everything's all good, and that post insurance you know it's it's tough it's tough because you now have to find especially if you're like on bella or in certain types of medications everybody's situation is different but you got to make sure that you know you're able to you know find people that can cover certain things and you got to know the ins and outs of the industry now for me my least favorite job that i ever did in life was selling health insurance what a coincidence right and so I remember being in college and I hated that job with a passion and I told my dad like oh my god I hate this job this is what it is this is what I'm doing he was like oh no I'm gonna need you to quit that job and I quit that job instantly right all I had to do was hear somebody my parents tell me quit that and I was done um but I had to do it because I needed to make some kind of income I was in college right and I hated it not knowing fast forward how it would be beneficial to understand the ins and outs of that industry and who to speak to what to say what to look for um so I was able to help my um client in regards to health insurance right because it's a lot that goes along people think oh it's just like 
you know, something simple and it's not. It's a lot of little details. And so it was daunting to this particular person as well. And so they booked a call. And we, I went into research mode because every state is different. Every person's situation is different. Everybody's medication, every all of that. And it's a lot for some people who've never had to do this before. So, and not only that, but because I personally have gone through this situation, meaning like, you know, I'm over three years into the post-transplant and I've had to maneuver through the industry just as well for myself. So getting my experience, that person thought it was very valuable. And I sent them a recap email of like everything we spoke about all the insurance companies who i found would cover that particular person in his particular state um so it was a great call and i just really sat back and thought about like wow if i didn't take that job many moons ago and i didn't go through what i went through with my own personal experience I wouldn't be able to help him and guide him through this process. So you just never know how God is working on the back end. Not saying like I wanted to be on dialysis, but you know, certain things happen for a reason. And I think God gives his toughest, I call myself a warrior, um, these kind of issues because he knows we can handle it and I'm doing good, right? With my pain, I brought out something good. I'm out here making an impact. I'm talking in the community. I'm making my YouTube channel. I feel like with YouTube, this is why I focus on YouTube, is because people who really need help, like, I mean, seriously need help, come on YouTube. And they like these long-form videos. They like to sit here and have just see other people going through certain things, learning from other people. Um, And so that's why I love YouTube over any other platform any day like yeah you have your instagram and you know your day in the lives and your you know behind the scenes and it's cool right but it's less of an impact and especially on tiktok and stuff like that it's less of an impact youtube is where most of my impact happens because i love doing these long form videos now when it comes to like insurance and stuff like that people are gonna have to book a call like i'm not gonna sit here and make a youtube video because everybody's situation is different we're not the same we all do not have the same health reason we all did not get on dialysis for the same reason or just having a chronic illness you know i I also battle lupus so there's a lot of different factors that go along with that but you know it's a new service that i'm offering um so if anybody ever wants you know and it's not just about health insurance it's just having someone to guide you someone to talk to because there's a lot of people out here that don't have anyone that understands what they're going through and because i've been through it i've dealt with the lupus i've dialysis kidney transplant i've been through it all and i was telling this person that sometimes you may have a social worker and they don't even know certain things right so i remember when um trump passed the law about the medications and everybody out here thinks like oh my gosh my medication is gonna be for free no it is not that's not how it works um yes it may cover your medication but it doesn't cover a lot of stuff like appointments and things of that nature and a lot of people don't know that and even my particular social worker didn't even know that so like i'm the type of person like i said be an advocate for your own health i'm the type of person that goes digging researching publications like i go really deep into things because this is my life i have one life to live and i want to live the best life and i want to be educated on what's happening to my body i'm not just gonna lay down and let anybody do anything or tell me anything i'm gonna go research for myself and i suggest that you guys do just as well too you know when i talk about Prograph versus Bella. Look at publications. Read for yourself. Figure out what works best for you. I already explained tons and tons of time why I do the Bella over Prograph and how I felt over that. But, you know, like I was saying, a lot of people don't have anyone to talk to, don't have anyone to guide them. And I'm not talking about textbook. I'm talking about real life experiences that I've been through. If I don't know 
something? I'm going to say I don't know. But what happens is when you go to my link in my bio and you book a call, you check my availability, I ask you questions. I'm asking you, you know, what do you need help with? You know, I want you to give me details so we're prepared because we're allowed it a certain amount of time. And I want to make sure that we're not just kikiing on the phone. We're getting down to business where I'm giving you valuable information. The kikiing can come at the end of the conversation when we have excess time. But I want to make sure that I'm giving you all that you need in these conversations. So if anybody is just looking for guidance or just wanting to have a conversation or want to talk about something in depth about your personal situation, confidentiality is at its utmost. Um, but I am here to support the community because my biggest goal is just impact, making those impact and helping as much as I can help. You know, it takes time away from my family, uh, my children and things of that nature. So I expect people when they book a call that they're serious and they know what they want to talk about, right? You have time when you're filling out the questionnaire to know what is it that I truly want to talk about. It is a check-in moment. I want to know how you guys are feeling, what's going on in your life. Um, you guys see my whole life. Like my whole life is documented here, but it's not documented to brag or boast. It's documented to encourage and to inspire and to let you know if I can do it, you can do it just as well. Um, but I understand not everybody's eligible for a transplant and I get that, but sometimes watching these videos still gives you hope. And so continue to watch my videos, share the video as well. Um, but talking about impact, you guys already know I came out with my 90 day devotional right here, Renew and Restore. It actually just went live on Amazon on October 10th. Um, so you guys can find that. Um, and it just gives you like daily prompts and you know scripture and a little devotional a reflective question things of that nature like on day five we're talking about trusting god's guidance right and that's awesome we talked about fostering relationships we talk about it's okay to ask for help you know and you know just thinking about a time when you hesitated to ask for help what held you back you know, what was the outcome? How can you overcome these hesitations? Like we go deep into this book and I just want you guys, I'm just to show you a little peek of, you know, how it looks on the inside, you know, walking in God's promises and things of that nature. But it's talking about different topics every single day because we're not just focusing, oh, help, help, help. Like overall, right our well-being our mental we talked about it all finding courage and fear restoring relationships because we know we got some broken relationships out there finding peace and chaos because you know we're dealing with a lot when it comes to our health so there's so many topics i'm talking about 90 different topics every day you know bringing laughter and joy and happiness like i went really deep it took me a long time to make this because i didn't want it to be a typical book i wanted it to be well-rounded i wanted it to make an impact touch the community and something that you could share with others that are not that's not even dealing with the chronic illness so again it's 90 day journey of hope and healing you can find it on amazon share it with your friends and your family um take a picture DM me. Let me know that you supported the book. You got your copy. Um, and I want to see videos and pictures. And, you know, it just means a lot to me because I come on here every week and I give my all constantly and I don't ask for anything back. The one thing that I'm asking for you guys to do is just support the book. And with that, I am going to be doing um, a charitable event with a social work group um, for Thanksgiving. We're part of the proceeds from the book and um, we'll be posting that shortly in the YouTube community that we want to do boxes, giving food out to the community for Thanksgiving. And so everything I do is with a purpose in mind and there's a bigger picture on why I do certain things. So having this book um, it's going to help me give back to the community more. There's a few of you guys. I've helped people already who've gotten kidney transplants, given them, you know, resources, funds. Like, I'm, I'm doing a lot, right? I'm doing a lot by myself. And I know there's greater power in 
all of us coming together. So again, instead of me saying, hey, you know, give some money to something, I'm asking you guys to make an impact in your own life by getting this, but the proceeds will be given out. We will be doing that. So stay tuned. You guys will see that on the channel as well too, because I think it's important that we help people that don't have anything to eat out there. People are suffering. People are hungry. Um, so we're going to get these boxes together. We're going to be packing up these boxes. We're going to be giving it out the week before Thanksgiving in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so stay tuned. You will be seeing a lot of that. Um, the Bella is being made right now. This is why I've been just chit-chatting away. Um, it's not done yet. It takes a little while. They want to make sure your IV is in. Everything is good. Then the doctor or well, the pharmacist in the back will go ahead and make it up. Um, I already told you guys that everybody's Bella is different. It depends on your weight. Um, and when I got on Bella through two years ago, I wasn't at the same dosage that I am at now. So it is what it is, right? Um, you guys saw my weight. I'm like at 155. Now, if some of you know, some of you don't know, my husband's mom needed surgery, and so he had to go be her caregiver, and so I'm like on single parent mode, and it is hard, okay? I get it, y'all. I understand it now, because the gym needs to see me, okay? I've noticed that we've been celebrating birthdays, we've been brunching, we've been doing all types of stuff. I've been busy, and the weight has definitely piled on a little bit but it is nothing for me to get back in it i will be my um friend already called me he's like hey sis i'm about to be at the gym at um noon and i'm like i'm here at treatment i can't go um but tomorrow i will be linking up and i will be in the gym getting it on because it's needed um but yeah so if you guys have questions comment below let me know this is how I make my video topics on things that you guys want to talk about. What's going on in your life. So please share that with me. I'm still not done with my birthday celebration. We're going to be celebrating more all month. The whole month of October we're celebrating. Because it's a blessing. Because at one time, I didn't know if I was going to be here to see another year. So I'm going to sit back for a little bit. Bury out my lights. I'm going to cozy up for a few minutes until I get my Bella. Once my Bella comes and I get connected, I'll show you guys. Um, but I need to relax because I'm tired. I'm very sleepy. So let me lay here for a little bit, take a little nap, eat my favorite little sun chips, um, and do my devotional for the day. And just become one because when I get back home, life's going to get crazy. So I'm now connected. And it's going to drip up here for the next 30 minutes. For the next 30 minutes, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to take in my treatment. I'm going to be grateful that I'm alive. Um, but yeah, you have to have a positive mindset when coming to these types of things because it might trigger you because you're like, oh man, you know, when I was at dialysis, I had to come into a center. But you're not on dialysis anymore. And it's only once a month and it's not painful right um dialysis was painful for me at least i can't speak for you if it was painful for you let me know but it's, it's very very painful for me and so sitting here just being thankful and just happy that i have a new outlook on life and plus like i said it was my birthday um the other day so it's just i'm just like in awe right like i made it i'm making it i'm doing it um and i know god gave me a second chance and so i'm so grateful just to wake up this morning um to sit here with you guys to just be impactful right like the whole purpose of this is just to be impactful but that's really all i had to say today i just wanted to come on share some good news with you guys explain why sometimes we go through things in life and we can't understand why until it's actually used for good later and you're like oh i get it now I understand why you made me go through that years ago because you prepared me and made me stronger so i'm going to sit here drip for a bit and then go home and relax i'm not going to the gym today i'm not doing anything i'm gonna go home take a shower and cuddle up in my bed and sleep 
because I need sleep right now. And anytime I do these treatments, I usually go home and just rest up and prepare myself for the next day, right? What you can't do today, put it off for the next day um, because it's not worth it. Your health is the most important thing you have. So take care of yourself. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Comment below. Interact with me. Let me know you watched the video. If you have questions, do that as well. And you guys, like I said, can now take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one virtual call with me. And don't forget, Amazon. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Do as you please. If you're going to support, you're going to support. If you're not, it's okay. No hard feelings. I still love you guys. I still appreciate you guys watching. At least give the video a thumbs up. All right. See you guys next time.